So Taylor, this week, mm-hmm. or I guess those last few weeks, you said you've been watching Brooklyn Nine Nine, right? I have. How have you felt? So I, I'm. I think I'm pretty much caught up. There might be one episode I'm behind on. I'm not exactly sure. Um, how do you feel about them being on is it NBC now? Uh, it is NBC now. Yeah. What's your opinion of the the transfer? No, from- d- no discernible difference. Yeah. Um, and I watch it on Hulu anyway, so nothing has changed for me. Okay. Yeah. So I. Going into the first episode, it something just felt really off. Mm-hmm. Um, it wasn't funny. I don't think I laughed one time watching that um, first rem- episode. Remind me what the first episode is. Was that the vacation one? That was, was the a vacation one? one. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, I, mean, I think it had its moments, but nothing yeah. special. Yeah, and I was like, man, this is a bad one to lead off with. and uh, But it's gotten a lot better. It's gotten back on track. The <laughs> uh, what did Scully. you think of the, the Hitchcock and Scully episode? That's so funny. I love that. That was great. Anytime Hitchcock and Scully are part of it, the show is just elevated. <laughs> they are, they're so underrated, I think. <clears throat> the but yeah, no, it's it's gotten a lot better. I, I was kind of surprised. I don't know what's up with Fox, why they're so terrible at comedies, like Keep promoting them. Arrested development. Arrested development, this. Um there's been a few others. But I was they they canceled like four all at the same time. It was yeah. like this one and New Girl and Last Man on Earth. Yeah, and, and I feel like there was another one. And I was watching all those shows, and it was kind of a bummer. Well, New Girl ran out of steam. Well, that one. Well, okay, so I'll, I'll admit that one was ready. I it got really bad. I think we've talked about it before. Mm-hmm. It got really bad because they broke one of my rules. Well, not really a rule, but. The One point that rules. if this happens, then it's not going to be good. What's that? And then where either the main characters like get together too soon, mm. you know, or someone has a baby. They introduce a baby to the group. Yeah. No good. It's it's just, it's a disaster. Those are just sitcom unless rules, it, by the way. Those are your rules. No, those are my rules. <laughs> unless it's set up, you know, to be like that, but it's not. And so when Nick and Jess got together in like season three or mm-hmm. four or whatever i don't remember when it was it's yes. been a while it really tanked for me mm. and then they broke up and did their own thing and i feel like it kind of came back and then they were like off for like a year or something like that and i felt like it came back and it was pretty good and i think it ended stronger than it was in the middle of of its run yeah yeah so i think it started out really good and it dipped pretty far and then it kind of came back up not quite to where it was but it it finished strong it wasn't a a decline in all the way through the end yeah yeah i i was nervous for brooklyn 99 to come over to nbc because when scrubs did it it got mm-hmm. terrible yeah and i was like they're they're going to do it again they're going to ruin another show trying to keep it alive. Like there's a reason why Fox canceled it, even though like Arrested Development was canceled before it's time. Mm-hmm. Brooklyn nine, nine was kind of on the edge, right? Like it's like, yeah, it's maybe it's a little premature to cancel it, but how much more can you do this? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, uh, but so far it's, it's stayed pretty solid. It's stayed pretty consistent. I think with so. what it used to be. I uh, think so. one of the things I saw this week was How to Train Your Dragon 3, which uh-huh. came out about three weeks early in Thailand than it did um, in the States. But, Must be nice. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk a little bit of spoilers. If you care, you probably don't want to listen. But I don't think it... I, I'm sure you know. <laughs> I don't think it really... Um, it doesn't really spoil much. Like I, I told you earlier, it's kind of a, a, a safe play like they don't it doesn't feel like they do anything new or fresh so it's not yeah i i don't think i would be disappointed if i got this spoiled but i understand if you don't want to hear it um <clears throat> but so this one takes place and they're like overfilling their town with dragons they're like so overrun that they can't um maintain it and mm-hmm. it ends up bringing this uh dragon hunter to their their area and this dragon hunter is basically hiccup so hiccup's the main character is basically hiccup had hiccup killed 
toothless in the beginning of the first one his Mm -hmm. his story is the like the black the black and white version of each other the mirror the reverse image of each other but this guy's like he they can't stop him right and they keep uh getting the dragons and they end up stealing kidnapping toothless and taking all the dragons away um well before that everyone moves off their village off the island go to new island they're hiding out there the guy tracks them back takes all the dragons away and so this is where it kind of fell apart for me was because the story was a hiccup figuring out how to be a leader and doing that without toothless but doing it with his friends so <clears throat> it was like you can't rely on someone else to help you but you need to rely on someone else to help you was the message of the story and i thought what <laughs> What are you trying to say? What are you trying to teach kids or people? <laughs> like, don't rely on someone else to help you lead, but you really need to rely on other people to help you lead. And uh, it was yeah. it was a very mixed messaging for me. Um, but what what ends up happening? They end up saving all the dragons, getting them back, and then he releases them because they had found the hidden world where all the dragons originate from. And to me, that's the story. It should have been was everything in between them releasing the dragons and then them kind of learning how to live without them. Like that's where the the story was uh, more compelling to me, more exciting than what they did. Um, But you know, it's fine. It's not bad. It's just kind of uh, plain plain. Yeah. There was just not, not a lot to it. Um, And I think they could have done a lot more, but at least they didn't fumble it, right? Like, Kenneth is not here. He's just lurking. Just lurking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't have anything set up, Kenneth, but thanks for the thanks for lurking. Um, yeah, so How to Train Your Dragon 3, uh, it's, yeah, you know, it's just one of those things. It's like Toy Story 3 to me is the best third act or third movie for like a kid's movie. Huh, let me think about that. Yeah, I I think that's probably true or correct. Like, it just, it keeps getting better. They keep doing new things with it each time, and they wrapped it up really well. This one was kind of a steep decline from the other two. Still good, not not in, like, the bad territory, but, like, quite a bit of a step down. Uh, well, hmm, I wonder why. Same writers and all that? Same producers, directors? <laughs> Amateur James says he's here to see Alan get tucked in. Almost. It's almost my bedtime. I need to take a nap. Isn't it like the morning for you? It's 12 in the afternoon. Oof, it is bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> That's generally my bedtime. I sleep for 20 hours a day. I woke yeah. up at I woke up at 8. I go to bed at 12. Um, but yeah, so it's good, but it's, you don't have to see it. If you haven't seen the other two, I feel like I say this about all trilogies. The third movie is generally not the best. Uh, like just like, (laughs) at least we can all agree. At least we can all agree on that. Right. Uh, but yeah, so we will be back next week. Um, if you're on Twitch, we're going to continue our conversation about alien, but we'll be back next week, uh, with our next episode on the podcast, which I believe should be apocalypse. I think that's what's coming out next. I don't remember exactly. I don't have to check. It's one of those. But uh, yeah, thanks for listening and uh, we'll be back.